About 24 hours uh, to a change of power in Gambia, Mr. Yahya Jame, president of Gambia, refuses to leave office after defeat by Adam Abaro. In December election, Nigeria is playing an active role in the politics of the West African nation as it gets set for a historical political twist. What is Nigeria's interest and how far can it go? A Nigerian Deputy Senate President E.K. Ekorumadu says he is not leaving the opposition People's Democratic Party despite pressure from the ruling APC over the seat he currently feels. That's our focus on the program. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. What an interesting day in Nigeria politics and the regional politics of Africa. Um, Shio Okimbalo here. Before we get started in earnest, let's take a look at some of the uh, other stories that we are following for you. Nigeria is in recession, and it is a time when states of the Federation are seeking more revenues and ways to fund their activities. It is rather an unusual policy to find a government accepting taxes on a sector of the society. The governor of Cross River State, Mr. Ben Ayade, has ordered the state agencies to stop collection of taxes from citizens who make less than 50000 a month. The governor says it is unfair to tax those people who find it difficult to make ends meet with their meager income. We must make a difference, and that's why I abolish tax for the poor people. As the corruption fight in the federal government gains momentum, the Kwara State Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed has asked judicial officers to maintain discipline and uphold high level of integrity in the discharge of their duties. The governor says the judiciary must be protected and enabled to perform its constitutional roles in the interest of our nascent democracy and public order. The judiciary is the last refuge of citizens. The All Progressives Congress APC in Yobe State, Northeast Nigeria, has lifted the suspension placed on some members of the party. The Yobe APC had in February 2016 suspended some of its members on an offense it said was their gross misconduct and insubordination against some of the party members. Addressing pressmen in Damaturu, the state capital, the state secretary, Alhaji Abubakar, said the state executive has at its meeting held yesterday, Tuesday the 17th, lifted the suspension. The party wish to announce the lifting of suspension on them was effect from today, the 17th January 2017. Everyone, uh, get set now. Let's uh, move uh, to some of our major stories, shall we? Let's tell you about the medium term expenditure framework that has stayed with the National Assembly since last year. Today, the Nigerian Senate passed the 2017 2019 medium term expenditure framework, MTEF, increasing the oil benchmark price of crude from $42.50 uh, uh, to $44 per barrel. The executive had set the benchmark price of crude at $42.50 uh, per barrel in the revised 2017 MTEF, which it sent to the National Assembly for approval and passage. The Senate has also adopted and passed the 2017 uh, borrowing plan of government, but insists that there should be on project tied basis. Presenting the MTF report at Wednesday legislative proceedings, the chairman of the Committee on Finance, Senator John Enno, says the committee also maintained the exchange rate of 305 naira to a dollar set by the executive.
Let's just stay with the National Assembly and the story is coming from there. The political maneuvers continue with the pressure from the majority political party, the APC, and the Deputy Senate Presidency. You know just how it played out the other time when the election was held. Some members of the APC have been uh, asking and quizzing uh, on the reason why a PDP man will be holding the second most powerful seat in the National Assembly and they're asking that he steps down. But today, the office of the Deputy Senate President of the Senate, Senator A.K. Kurum, has dismissed as false insinuations and the reports that the Senator could be on his way to the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, to save his job. In a statement by the Special Assistant to the Deputy Senate President, Mr. O.K. Ozwani, he described the reports as a fantasy of those peddling it. The uh, report, or the the statement went further than a quote. Now, Senator Ekwaramadu is not contemplating leaving PDP. He's more concerned about fixing the country's biting economic and security conditions and other challenges than saving his job as a deputy president of the Senate. Well, on Sunday, politics on Channel Salvation, uh, where the spokesperson of the APC was our guest, uh, talking about that very seat of the Deputy Senate President. I asked him about this and uh, what his party is doing about uh, the situation. And here is what he has to say. Some people are, in fact, saying that the Deputy Senate President must step down for an APC Deputy Senate President. Do you see that happening? No, no, no. You see, th like I said earlier, those were part of the initial situations that happened. Now we've, we've resolved the issue in the National Assembly. Right, you you no longer even the 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 the, the former um, majority leader that that had to that had to uh, go uh, last week or so. I mean, yes, he was disappointed that he had to, but he recognized that that's the sacrifice he had to make, and you can see that he came back to say, "Look, I've accepted," and you know.